My name is Mike Will and I'm a professional photographer based in London, UK. I predominantly shoot night cityscapes, night portraits. Uh, I love shooting anything at night really. It's just about getting creative and seeing the world that often people wouldn't see at night. You kind of see it through a different eye and, and that's really uh, exciting for me. I'm currently shooting on the Alpha 7 R3. Uh, this is my go-to camera. It's an amazing body. Having the dynamic range that it does is just fantastic. I can pull so much from it in post-production during my night photography and it gives you just an incredible image. So for this shot here, I'm looking for the leading lines of the Thames going in. Uh, also, we have a boat, which is a really interesting subject to kind of have in the foreground. Then obviously, the leading lines then lead us straight into the city. Then we've got Tower Bridge with the Shard on one side. For the first time I ever shot on this camera, zooming in was absolutely amazing because I didn't even realize how much I could actually crop in and, and still use an image and even blow it up on a print. The low light capabilities are just next level. And having uh, 42.4 megapixels in this small little body, uh, it's absolutely amazing. Obviously when traveling all day, all night, shooting sometimes for sort of 20 hours at a time without really sleeping, um, this just helps that dramatically. And I'm not sure I could do that with a DSLR. So in my camera bag, I have uh, the 16 to 35, G Master 2.8, I then have the 24 to 70 G Master, and then I have the 70 to 200 G Master 2.8. Having that wide range really gives me everything I could need from uh, a 16, super wide, right the way through to the 200. For instance, I'm doing a cityscape and I do want to bring out one particular building, it's just perfect. So the quality of the G Master lenses is next level. Uh, having that edge to edge sharpness on every lens is obviously really important. And something that is not available anywhere else. A lot of my portraits are location-based. I very much like to get out into a location and shoot that. So right now I'm on the 35 1.4. I like to try and capture not only the model and the emotion, but also what's going on in the background. And uh, a 35 is wide enough where you can kind of play with both. Having eye autofocus is amazing and such a great feature on the Sony cameras. I know every shot I'm taking is going to be bang on focus and we can work through the creative process much quicker. And if the model's switching positions, it doesn't matter because the eye autofocus is going to pick that up. Shooting at 10 frames per second is absolutely key when I'm at music festivals. I don't want to miss that moment, whether it's when the DJ puts his hand up or the crowd's going wild. It's really important that you can capture every moment like that. When you nail that shot, and whether it's waiting for hours for the right lighting or waiting for hours for the bus to come by or waiting for it to rain so you know you can go back to a location because you want that reflection in the puddle. It's, it's the excitement, it's the kind of view against the elements or whatever it might be, getting the best shot possible. Sony Alpha cameras are pushing the boundaries of technology, which means I can really push the creative boundaries in my own work.